guys, it's Lily and today's video is going to be a how to make pumpkin muffins slash cupcakes and I'm really excited for the fall videos that I have planned and I'm also really excited because the pumpkin spice lattes came back at Starbucks. So let's let the fall season begin and without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So first we're going to start off with our wet ingredients. So you're going to want to take a cup of salad oil, just pour that right on into your mixer. Alright, now you're going to want to take two thirds cup of water and put that in your mixer. Okay, now you're going to want to take your pumpkin puree and take your spatula and just get all that into the mixture. Looks kind of unappetizing, but trust me, it all works in the end. Okay, so then you're going to need three cups of sugar. And yes, sugar is considered a wet ingredient. I had the same question. At this point, you're going to want to add two more cups of sugar to the bowl. And then you're going to want to put this on the lock and mix it all up. And do dance, why not? Once you have it all mixed up like this, You'll see that there's still some on the sides, so I'm going to take my little spalatula and go on the sides and just push it all in. And then I'm going to turn my mixer on again and make any final touches. Alright, so now we're going to lift this up. It smells amazing. Okay, let it drip off of that. Now is the time where you can try it. This is the best part. Oh no, it fell. Okay, so for the dry ingredients, our first ingredient that all of the ingredients will be poured in a sifter, not in a bowl like the wet ingredients. So you're going to take your flour, three and a half cups of flour, and pour that into your sifter. Two, three. Okay, so now we're going to take our ground cinnamon and take uh, one teaspoon of that. Pop that in and one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Pop that on in. For the salt, you're going to need one and a half teaspoons. One, and shift this to a half. And pop that in there. So now we're going to 
sift this all onto here. So now you're going to want to take any measuring device that you want and you're going to want to alternate. So you're going to turn this on very low otherwise it's going to like go like poof. So turn this on at very low speed and take a little bit of that, put it in there, you'll see as I go on. So I'm just going to lock this and turn it on low. Okay, so taking a bit of this and putting it in there very slowly so it doesn't blow up in my face. fun part where you get to pick your little liner things. I have these cute little ones with skulls and such. And then I have mini ones because who doesn't want mini cupcakes or muffins or whatever you want to call them. So I have these cute little ones with bats on the bottom and stripes on the side. So then we're planning on doing two trays of mini ones and then the rest big ones. So there's two things that you can use to, well there's probably more, but I use one of these two things to scoop the batter into the little liners. I either use a cookie, ice cream, whatever you want to call this scoop, or just a spoon. Today I'm going to use this so for the little ones, about one of these is good, like perfect size, maybe a bit less than that. Nope, one is the perfect, perfect, perfect size. Okay, so I finished all the little ones, so I'm actually gonna make them trade spots. Two is good to a little bit bigger scoop. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that these are ready, I'm going to hop on over the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put the big ones on the top and the little ones are going to cook up a ton faster than the big ones, so just keep that in mind. We're going to start with eight minutes and start. Alright, so for the frosting, in a mixing bowl, you're going to beat together <laughs> two ounces of butter, which for me was a half stick, and two ounces of cream cheese. Once that is in there, you're going to have some nice looking hands. And then we're going to get our butter and plop that in lock that and beat it together <laughs> now we're going to take our powdered sugar I have one cup of it here I'm 
low speed. Done. So then we're going to take a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I could only find one fourth, so I'm just gonna do two of those because math. So next you're going to want to take a plastic bag like so and some scissors and just cut a little hole at the tip. Come on. Never. Then you don't have to use one of these but just to make it a little bit more fancy I'm just using a little star tip nozzle and making sure that's secure by pushing on it. So now that we have our piping bag, we're going to want to take our rubber scraper and put that in. All right, so now we're gonna push all of our frosting to the tip like I did and release the air out of it. Then slowly and steadily, So now we're going to decorate it. So I just got some sprinkles from Target. Go, so that's better. Now is the time where you can put whatever decorations you would like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun festive treat. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and comment down below how yours turned out if you did end up trying them. They're really, really good. I'm gonna try one right now. <laughs> oh, well done. All right, so now that I have like frosting all over my face and I have food in my braces, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and as always, subscribe. Peace, love, bye.